Hey guys, what's up? Before we get started with the main event here, I just thought that I would show this little bit of me fighting the um, Dragon Rider Knights in Hyde's Flaming Tower. Since I don't really have any footage of me going through Hyde's Flaming ta um, Tower with any of my characters. Sorry about that guys, but it's not really all that hard an area to go through. If you really want me to do a video on that, let me know, but it's pretty quick. But there's another reason why I'm showing this particular video, because you guys are going to see something a little strange. As you can see, I'm getting my kit character prepped up. She's wearing different armor than she was before. So, let's go in there and deal with this dude right now. Yep, you just saw what you thought you saw. And the laughing I was doing was pretty loud. Pretty damn loud. Now, that was not a hack, guys. <laughs> There's a reason why his life was that low, and it's not because it was a hack. Maybe I'm trying to find the right emote, I guess, for this. I should have mocked him. Whatever, I just left it alone. But yeah, there's a reason why that happened. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys to figure that out. It's pretty easy to figure out how that happened. Those of you who know how, leave a comment in the comment section. But now we're just going to leave Kit and get on with the main event. So, yeah. See ya in the main event. Hey guys, what is up? Um, as you can see, we're going to be continuing on through um, the Lost Bastille. As how, that's actually how you're supposed to pronounce it. Learn some French, people. Well, I guess we'll just call it the Lost Bastille for people who can't really pronounce it right, but it's Lost Bastille. So, um, let's move on. Head on up here. Head on through here. This, um... I will say that earlier, when you first beat the Pursuer, which unfortunately you guys didn't see me beat him, but that guy's really easy. If Well, for newbies, it's probably not going to be easy, but um, if you guys do need help with the Pursuer, maybe I'll put up another video showing how to do that since I'm already going through with another character that I just started. But if you want some advice real quick with the Pursuer, it's a lot like the um, Dragon Rider you saw me defeat earlier. Forward to the right. That's pretty much it. Um, now here we have a Hyde Knight. Now you're going to notice me do something weird, and that's ignore him and move on. <laughs> the reason why I don't mess with the Hyde Knights isn't because I'm afraid of taking them on. I can easily t um, take these guys down. It's just that right now I don't find the need to. I mean, they drop some decent weapons, but they're not weapons that I want to use. And I'm not playing a new game plus, so I'm not going to be getting bits of their armor either. And, to be honest, I don't really need their armor. So, I'm kind of like live and let live. They're not bothering me, so I won't bother them. Maybe I'll go back and kill them at a later date, but... Some people will be saying, but what about the souls, man? The souls! Get the extra souls! But, i got other ways to get extra souls if I really need them. You know, it's called co-op. So, yeah. So now what we're going to do, and I bet you anything that's what this message over here is saying, is... You first get here, you're probably going to notice the ladder over there. Well, most of you guys are going to try to take him on and probably get killed and then try to take him on again and maybe defeat him. And then you guys are going to go down that way. Now, you don't want to do that. First thing you want to do, um, if you got a bow and you're a sneaky bastard like me, is you are going to get your bow and stand over here and put arrows in the back of this fool's head. He can't really do anything about it. I love the way he's just looking up like... Why are you doing this for? Cut it out! It's not fair! You're so big and bad with your bow. You wouldn't be so big and bad if you came down here. Oop, what am I doing? Sorry. Yeah, you can tell he's pissed. I heard the grunt. See, now he wishes he can get up here. He is, he is mad as hell. And I'd be mad too if I had an arrow sticking out the back of my head through my eye socket. Uh, hit the wood again. I really hate these. This invisible wall stuff really is for the birds. I don't know if anybody ever says that anymore. <sighs> now he's just like, well, I'll just move over here again. You can't shoot me here. The invisible walls are protected. Not all that much, dude. One more should do it. There. Now we don't gotta worry about it when we drop down there. 
which we're going to do in a bit. Yeah, I do. Like I said, I play this game slowly and methodically, and I play like a bastard when I go up against the computer because, well, this game doesn't, you know, it does not hesitate in the trying to get you with ambushes and traps and throwing, you know, massive numbers of people at you. So I don't see any reason why we can't, you know, take advantage of situations when we can't. Without cheating, of course. Actually, I gotta check my inventory for something. I wanna make sure... Yeah, I do have it, so... Um, I'm just hoping that it'll work, but I don't know if it will. Anyway, drop down here. What I should have done, actually, was shoot that dog with an arrow first. But it's not like I can't take him on. And actually, he's just... Okay. Here we go. Well, are you gonna move, or what? All right, fine. And of course the curse went off. Oh, now you want to get close. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Why is my fire longsword at risk? I could have sworn I saved at the bonfire, so now I got a problem. I. So I'm pretty much going to have to go through this area with just my bow and arrow. Which, while I'm decent at that, I'm... I'm really sorry I'm showing off the shoddy performance guys with, you know, messing up with my weapons here. I could have sworn I recharged this thing. And apparently I didn't. I must have forgotten to save at the bonfire. I lit the bonfire, but I didn't save on it, so... I got me a problem. I guess I can use the short sword plus one, but it's not ideal. Ugh. That's the way back up. Actually, you know what? I can go back up, so screw this. This is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm recharging that sword. So, bear with me for a moment. Again, um, if you're using a dex build, you it probably would be a better route if you got a rapier. Because it is going... I think, ultimately, it's gonna do more damage in the long run than this fire longsword. Um, if you're going dex. But... As I've stated before, I don't like the narrow um, point of attack that you get. And yes, I am skipping over sniping this dude here because I just want to get this over with. Um, though, to be honest, he's not all that hard. I'll show you how to deal with him. You know, you'll probably notice, by the way, even though, like I say, the frame rate is a smooth 60 frames per second. When you're dealing with enemies from long range, for some weird, re weird reason, when they're far away, their frames are dropped. I don't know why that is, but it is. Um, and then later on, when they get close, all of a sudden, it smooths back out to 60 frames. It's really weird. But anyway, no matter what, you want to get rid of the dogs first if you're going to be taking that dude on. Since you don't got to worry about them nipping at your heels. And of course, he's going to come dropping down. And then all you need to do is... Get behind him. He's not particularly maneuverable, but he does have a lot of reach, so you want to stay away from his front. And that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to take him out. It's, he looks menacing, but that's it. He just looks menacing. Um, I believe one of these things... Yeah, there you go. To save my weapons, I tend to just punch um, structures that can be destroyed because your hands well in this case I'm not using my hand I'm using you know my fire thingy but generally um, when it comes to like structures that can be destroyed if you want to save on durability <coughs> since this game seems to be acting weird with my weapon durability I, I don't know why but ugh, it's kind of frustrating to see how quickly my fire longsword ran out of durability as if it was like a katana or something um so I've, I've taken to using my fists to break these things down because your fists aren't going to run out, you know? So, I just did that just to didn't take off too much of my sword. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was just a glitch or something. Or maybe it's just something with bosses. I don't know. Alright, so. Open this thing up here. And an this flash shard. So you know what we're going to be doing with that. Now, my next suggestion 
is before you go around the corner and dealing with what's over there, that you go over here. And you punch the wall. Because I can do that. I got fists of steel. I don't break that down because he's waiting for you to break it down, so. And you don't really want to swing too much near those barrels because they explode if a spark hits them. So you want to be careful about that. Let's see if I can parry him. Oh, I did it too slow. And because my life is now kind of at half, I'm not going to risk another one. I misread him. I thought he was going to swing when I hit that and he still hesitated. I hate the hesitation moves. Now, don't rush in there. Just don't. Don't. Don't do it. It's... You'll hate yourself for it. Because these guys are in there and those of you who have not faced these guys yet know that they explode. So you... You, you kind of want to deal with them from a distance. You can't kill them from close range, but you better time that swing right because if you miss and they plop right in front of you, you can't hit them and suddenly they explode and boom, you're dead. Or close to, it, to dead, depending on how much life you got. So I tend to like dealing with, well, with them from range. I've probably woke that dude up. Let me see if I did. Yep! Yep. See? That's what happens. They're very weak. Like, you know, it doesn't take much to kill them. But I like dealing with them from a distance. It's just better safer. It's, it's safer that way. And you're going to learn to hate these guys because they always show up at the wrong times and they, you tend to show up in numbers. I've rarely ever um, dealt with them um, where it was only just one of them. There's always like a group of these bastards, you know, coming around. Now, we can go on further this way. You know, um, you know now I think about it, I don't even know why I go in here when I always run back. But, yeah, um, going further this way goes to another particular area that we're going to be going to later, but not right now. Um, I just want to grab some goodies from here and move on this way. Once I clear out some of the stuff over here, that's when I'm going to go back there and deal with that stuff. So here are the dogs. At least one of them. Thanks for being stupid. Got it. Um, keep in mind that once you open this up, you're going to have to deal with those two over there. So be prepared. At least it doesn't open up immediately as you're pulling on that, so you can actually get yourself ready. You know? See, I was like, I had plenty of time to back up and get ready to take them on. Then you can either, you know, deal with them with arrows or magic in the distance, or just, they're, they're not that good of deal. They're not like the way they were in Dark Souls 1, like I said before. So they're not too much of a pain in the ass to deal with. Still are a pain in the ass, but it's just not that bad. Now, this point, see that crack in the wall? We want to destroy that, but I don't think we can do it with our own explosives. There's a barrel in the top that somebody's going to kick down. We want them to kick it down so it destroys that wall, okay? I'm going to top myself off. Actually, I don't know why I did that when my ring could have done that. That was a waste of resources. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to stay over here, and I hope that when this guy kicks the barrel... Uh -huh. Damn it! I don't know why it goes on the side there now. I've been noticing that lately in my playthroughs that the barrel will go to the side like that. So now... Oh, man. And I don't really think that my firebomb is going to blow up that wall. Let me see. I can try one, but I'm really doubting it's going to do anything. Yeah, it it's not going to do it. Oh, that's oh, that's frustrating. That is really freaking frustrating. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I'm going to we're going to reset this because I want that wall destroyed. I want that bonfire. So we're going to try this again. Alright, let's travel and hope that everything got reset over there, because if they... Huh. <sighs> I, oh, man, I forgot to say. Well, the reason why I mentioned the Pursuer before is because I've already been in the, um, 
whatchamacallit, I've already been to um, the Bastille. Um, by, through the other side, I took the uh, I took the bird's nest over there and flew over there and I grabbed a couple of items over like that. If this doesn't work over here, like if the barrel does respawn but I still can't get it to blow up the wall by going this way, then I'm going to come this way. And I hope that that's going to be um, good because then, you know, maybe I can kick the barrel down in the right direction. I don't know. But i got to get that wall blown up. The reason why is because there's a really useful bonfire there that I want to use as my base of operations, so to speak. I don't want to keep doing it from this bonfire or the other one. So, I've got plenty more arrows. I could just snipe this dude. Actually, yeah, and, and since that structure's back up, that means the barrel's back too. Um, eh, F it. I know I can deal with him. I already showed you guys I can deal with him, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a dry air in here. One more. I guess he didn't mind arrows in his brain. Or maybe when the arrow went through, it kind of took out the, um, his, hey, I'm getting shot part of the brain. There we go. I'm noticing the damage output's a bit better. Um, one thing I can say, if you... Yeah, you don't want him grabbing you. You really don't. got amazing reach with that thing, so you gotta be careful. That's why even though I was behind him, I still have a shield up just because a straight hit came through. Um, what was I gonna say? I completely forgot what I was about to say. No. Yeah, what I was gonna say was, if you only have a few souls to spare, and you're trying to decide whether you should level up or upgrade your weapon, and the reason why you're wondering is because of damage, from what I've seen, it might actually be better to upgrade your weapon first. Um, I mean, you're going to have to level up sooner or later, but I'm noticing that if you upgrade your weapon first, I, I, you tend to see a bit more damage increase from that than from straight leveling up. So, so are you going to kick that thing or what? Hello? Hello? Mister? Are you going to... Mister Inconsistent. I am shit. That's what I was afraid of. Now I got another jerk. This is not going to Okay, that's better. I might die here, guys. Just saying. Of course, might doesn't mean will. There's always a way through obstacles, no matter how dire they may seem. Okay, now I guess I'm going to be kicking this down myself, and I hope that it actually hits the wall. The right wall! What the fuck was that? Okay, are you going to, like, can I move you over here? Can you Please, go right there, just right, I'm, I'm trying to move you here, come, 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 come. Here. Hey. a little nudge, 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 closer to the crack, because now this game's worrying me, I know it's right against the wall, but I, I, I don't know if it's going to pull off any BS on me, okay, so, let's try this. You're probably hearing noises in there. There's a reason for that, for those of you who haven't seen this part yet. I only have two black fire bombs. Let's make this count. Damn it. Put that in the center of the screen and fire. Yes! Man, that was weird. <laughs> See, this bonfire here is very useful. Very, very useful. And in here, we get to see this guy who's just swinging his hammer around for no reason. Don't follow what that message says. <laughs> Do not attack this guy. You need him. Titanite 
shard. He doesn't mind. It's, you know, typical RPG stuff. You can just go in and loot people's stuff. Looting for fun and profit. Any boat? Now let's talk to him. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. We've got a wild one here. I'm just standing in front of you. <laughs> Shape up. Shape up, I say. Oh, <laughs> I see, yes. That's the way. What does he do? Dear flame, how brightly you burn. <laughs> I hope to fetch a new ember. Flame, dear flame. Yeah, he's a little nuts. Um, but he is pretty useful. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can get the items on that chest he's sitting on. All you've got to do is light that fire over there, and he will walk over there and, well, grab it. However, I, for some idiotic reason, I don't light this thing right now. I just wait until later when I actually have the dull ember and then I can go and get the stuff in there. So that's what I'm going to do now. If that bothers you, I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to roll on, like secret, and we're going to be dealing with a rather interesting um, set of enemies in a moment. Thanks for breaking me. Now I'm gonna worry about sparks blowing me up. Yeah, that's one devious thing from software did in the game. If you're near powder kegs and when you're fighting near it, um, sparks happen to hit the things, they will explode. Yeah, yeah, it hurts. As you can see, there's tricks around getting past this guy's range. Like if you go right inside of his range, he can't hit you either. I mean, once you understand the combat system in this game, there's no reason to get hit by a lot of enemies, you know? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Well, that. Oh, that. Up here. And we're going to... We're going to climb up this ladder. Be careful around, you know, the, the corners. So we can grab this stuff. Nice, huh? And then we're going to drop down and talk to our friend Lucatiel. Remember her? And here we're going to find out something rather interesting about her. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> I'm trying to close it on her face for the a reason. The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. And yes, that is a mask. Obviously. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Now that's actually useful. A lot of times people give you gifts that are, well, suspect at best. <laughs> and she says she has no idea what it is, which I find kind of funny as we keep talking. Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies, and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword, and my loyalty to my lord. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. I know, this is long, but it's worth it. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Yes? Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. 
One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. Yeah, as you can see by her face there, um, she's hollowing. And I find it kind of interesting that that's the way they show her hollowing, that you see like the left side of her face, you know, rotting out slowly. You know, as with us, we instantly go green and, you know, with the glowing eyes and such. Her, you kind of see it a little bit more slowly, which I find it to be a nice touch. And I wonder if maybe they should have done that with us as well when we die and stuff. But, but the gradual system still works, so. I'm sorry to burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. I have a soft spot for Lucas Hill, you know, despite the fact that later on we're going to find her to be a little I'm sorry, I suppose. Um, suspect in wits. Maybe we can blame that on her hollowing. You'll see what I mean later on. Now, you can't open this door because something's blocking it. So what you need to do is um, go on this side, right, and destroy that stuff over there. Now, you can try to do it with a bow. But it's a little difficult to do it from this side. Um, well, that's one of the reasons why. Actually, I don't even think we can destroy it this way. Uh, uh, never mind. That should clear the way. Yep. Of course, another way to do it is to blow it up if you got a firebomb, but um, those things are precious. Don't go down here, obviously, right? Good night. Seriously, those guys are not really a threat. I mean, just... They're kind of pathetic, actually. But yeah, there's no reason for me to walk in here at this point, because... Well, I've already taken care of this area. I already got the goodies from here. Um, if you haven't done what I just said to do, though, then this is what you'd be doing next. And then you just run back this way. I can tell, by the way, that they really wanted to like have a lot of dark areas. Because remember when we were on top of there and then you saw that one empty flame Brazil thing? Um, I, I really think at the last second they decided they weren't going to go with the whole having super dark areas that you need to light up stuff because you see these like places you can use your torch all over you know and it would have made things interesting but i guess they felt it made it too difficult you know, i keep seeing all these summon signs anywhere i'm almost tempted to have a guy run around with me to help me out but to be honest like i can pretty much handle this now this part i know a lot of people get killed here because they don't expect to see what's gonna happen you're gonna get jumped Okay, and you're gonna get jumped by a lot of guys. Like, see? You need to whittle down the herd, okay? Use the narrow platform to get back. I kinda messed up there. I attacked when my stamina was low. And you really don't want, see, I kinda screwed myself over. I thought I'd have at least two or three of them killed by now. My oh shit. Yeah, I died. That was a dumb decision on my part. I was hoping to at least throw it close to the um, barrels there and blow up a few of them. But I forgot to unlock and... Plus it was kind of dumb throwing something because you're stuck in that throw animation. So yeah, we're green. Yep. Alright, now that we are properly outfitted to deal with these bastards. Because we got flame on. Because again, you want to whittle down the herd. If I had, I really prefer to have fire orb at this point, but I don't have it, so. And here they come. And they run fast, as you can see. Ow! Takes way 
way too long. Just as I li oh, lower my shields to get my stamina up, that's when he clips me. Damn it! Alright, got this. This isn't working. Yeah, I saw that happening. There was nothing I could Oh shit, it took for forever for me to drink. I was hammering on that button like three seconds earlier. more manageable. What you got? What you got? Come on. See? Again. Things are manageable. You notice I get kind of quiet when I'm, like, when things get tense here, you, you kind of, <laughs> you need to concentrate on what you're doing. <laughs> you know? So... Anyway, roll back. Because there's going to be two more guys, I think. It was just one more? Not that I got full. Oh, uh, yeah, it was two more. Shit. Yeah, fuck it. Burn. Burn. No. Ow! a lot of lucky hits on me and I don't like it. At least I'm alive. <laughs> you know? That's what's important, I guess. I want to use an Estus and just use the damn life gem. I'm going to need the Estus later on as you guys are going to see. Um... Shit! These are the two I was remembering. So back up we go to whittle them down and finish them off. And I really wish I was using my other character right now. Hi. This time with Harry. I'm not getting like, the highest success rate anymore, my parry. Oh my god! Okay. Got a life gem for my trouble. That's good. Now, you could open this up and just go through, but there's a dude waiting right there, and he's got another dude behind him, so why put yourself through that? I wouldn't. So, what we're gonna do, because we're schmat, is we're going to take the stairs instead. And that just looks freaking creepy. It really does. Go around, down the stairs. Don't open that door. Just, just don't do it. You'll hate yourself for it. And a human effigy. Now, we go up these bent up, messed up steps. And what do you know? We are now on the other side. The side that they were hoping to ambush um, us from. Try and the wave of you. So that's why. And uh, uh, um, to be honest, I never open this gate. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, if you want to clear this area out, then fine, you can do that. But um, you know, I keep thinking that there was something in here, and there wasn't. Yeah, there it was. Now, here we go. Here we friggin' go. We're about to engage into a rather fierce boss battle, and I am not too sure if I'm going to beat it this time, but I will try. Because I need to end this real soon because I got an errand to run. So. Say hello to the Ruined Sentinel. Be patient when fighting these things. Take your shot when you can. And try your best to get behind them. They're not too hard. I 
as long as you are patient and fight them with your smarts. Honestly, I really wish I had my magic um, sword thing right now. I've forgotten to level myself up to use it because it really does help against these guys. Just keep moving around to their weak side. Okay. I saw that coming and it was, you do not want to fall off this platform. Trust me. You really don't. I got a little green there, but I'm trying to catch this off. Okay. Here we go. Drink the Estus, drink the Estus, drink the Estus. And now we got two more bastards down there. Believe it or not, though, even though there's two of them, it's not that hard. In fact, the thing that, there we go, that's what I was waiting for. You want to keep both of them in front of you. And now that guy's going to be the most vulnerable. Shit, that is exactly what I was worried about. Here we go again, guys. Shit. One swing. Just one swing. Now I can do two swings. Because I have the stamina for it. Old thing is stamina management. Stamina management. It's extremely important in this game. I couldn't get behind them. Get away from the wall, bastard! One swing, just one. Ow. Well, it didn't take up oh, too much of my life. So. Stamina. I'm trying to make it so that even if I don't really want to block this guy, I I'd rather avoid him. See, that's ideal. That's more ideal. That sucked. He could have finished me off there. Yeah, that was worth taking a life gem, because you really need to top yourself up before you land here. And those bastards are right there waiting for me. No! No, 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 no. Keep them in front of you. You want to keep them you want both of them on your screen at all times. You do not need one sneaking up on you. And I'm not attacking because I'm going to see if one of them is going to do the whole shield throw thing first. Shit, the other guy's kind of trying to get sneaky. Let's see. Shit, the other guy was there. I was trying to see if I could get a hit. Okay, good. It's like, you know, real martial arts in the sense that you've got to watch your footwork around these guys. You know, keep them in front of you. Attack when you need to. Ow! He got me anyway. It's not good. Man, I could have drank them, but I don't want to drink them at the wrong time, so... Now I can drink What's going on? I don't know if you guys heard that weird sound. Just get a quick snip at him. Out the way. Yep. I knew something was coming. I was trying to get out the way of that. Keep them in front of you. You might think it would be better just to, um, lock off of one of them, but the thing I'm finding is if I at least lock on one, um, then I can at least always at least have one on my screen, because sometimes if I lock off completely, sometimes weird things happen and suddenly I can't see either of them, and you, do, you gotta at least, you don't want to lose track of both. Losing track of one is bad enough, but losing track of both? No. <laughs> now go and hit. You gotta be like a mosquito in this fight. Just. Heck them off little by little, you know? See, I 
know where the other guy is. So I can... Shit. That was not ideal. I knew there was a second attack coming. They have a hell of a range, as you guys can tell. Just, you know, be patient. That's the whole trick to this fight. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. I knew I was gonna get slammed because I just could not. Oh shit! I mistimed that roll. I am not happy with my performance right now. I really fucked up when I threw that fireball at the time I did. I knew it was a bad time to do it too, but I was, just, I was getting a little impatient there. So you gotta be patient. Let's just go with the original plan. As you can see, it works on this sword. Uh, well, we already saw that earlier. Even though it's a fire long sword. Ow. As you can see, I do a bit more damage now. Not all that much, but it's enough. In this game, you want to, you know, anything that can, you know, add just, just squeeze a little bit more damage is worth it. Again, serve stamina. Do not fall off. Just a little extra nip. That did not feel good. As you can see, I took out that guy a lot faster this time. And you see that the magic thing works. Now I'm going to top it off, obviously. Shield, please. Ah, oh, damn, I think he clipped me. Shit! That was just bad luck. It's best just to stay the hell away from them when they do that. Oh shit, no. Okay, um... Oh no, 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 no! This is the wrong time for that! And that was the wrong time for that. Okay, guys, as you can see, I just got sick of the BS and I decided to summon somebody in here because I've gotten frustrated. I, the last time I dealt with these guys, I did it on my own, but this time I'm just like, you know what, I, this is taking way too freaking long and I just want to get this over with, so F this. Bug in the ear. Besides, I like co-op, right? I like helping other people, so I might as well have somebody help me. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I died way too many times up against these bosses, so... Why am I... Oh, I'm stuck because that guy's not moving. Well, I might as well let my stamina charge up. Oh, no, 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 don't fall! There. Is he planning on fighting them up here, or are we going to go down? You know what? Let me see if that guy's going to jump up here, because if he is...
Alright, jump off, jump off. They really want to wreck my shit right now. <laughs> I'm gonna reclaim my souls. Ow! God damn it! Oh no, 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 no! And I still got clipped. Why won't this thing move to the other guy? That was bullshit. He can handle that guy, I'll handle this guy. I'll handle this guy. That was risky right there, but he had him occupied, so. Damn it! Stop hopping around! Damn, he's pretty good with those double axes. Really, really good. Thank you very much. Hey guys, what's up? just doing this um, post um, voice recording um, basically to both explain the rather shoddy performance that you saw in the last few minutes as hilarious as it may have been to watch um, as well as also explain something about these clips which um, the explanation I'm going to give is um, going to explain both the shoddy performance and something about these clips that you guys may not know um, when this was first being recorded oh, and by the way I'm of course, showing the hidden locations of all, you know, all the hidden doors in here. Um, when I first recorded this, this was way back in April when the PC version just came out. So even though I had the game on the PS3 for some time, um, I had only gone through the game and almost got to the end through the PC version once. I haven't even beaten it on the PS3 yet. I was getting close to the end when the PC version came out, and then I just immediately jumped into the PC version and started all over again. Um, so... It was almost like going through fresh again. Like, this was literally my second time playing through the game. So, I was making a lot of freaking rookie mistakes, and it's kind of frustrating for me to actually watch myself play through this um, in these earlier clips and seeing myself make these obvious freaking mistakes. Hell, I think even here, like, I, I, I you know, I didn't even go up the freaking um, ladders um, that, in that first room, and I should have because there's some treasures up there. I think I get it later, but still, it's just kind of annoying not noticing these things. I'm, I'm also searching for the other ones because I didn't know yet where all the doors were. So, But yeah, these clips are rather old. Like, again, this was recorded back in April. These days, I play a lot better than I do in these clips. Um... This is not to say that I'm like a super expert or anything like that. In fact, you'll see in like later clips, like clips that are a little bit more up to date now, I still make a couple of mistakes here and there, but let's just put it this way. At the time I was recording this, I wouldn't have even thought about going through the game um, dual wielding, like you see with the Kit character, whose clips are recorded much later than this. Um, so there's that. Um, also, I am going to be cutting this off here in a bit because I kept on recording after this like I'm going to be going to the next bonfire and then I'm going to be going to the rest of the Bastille but this is getting close to an hour and even though I've put up really long videos of like either my serious videos or even gameplay videos since I took over an hour I find that that's kind of asking a little bit too much of you guys as viewers and so what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to try to keep these under an hour or just about an hour if I can and then just, um, you know, try to keep these, um, you know, manageable in terms of, you know, length of time it takes to watch them. If you um, would don't mind, okay, and that was actually a dumb swing to do. I should have shot him with an arrow, but whatever. Um, if you guys don't mind it going longer than that, fine. But I'm, I'm going to try to keep these, you know, at the most an hour. If it goes over an hour, I don't want to make it 
go on like, you know, like any, like maybe an hour 10, maybe an hour and 15, but nothing longer than that to make it more manageable for you guys to watch. So actually, um, I think I might as well keep this going at least until I get to the bonfire. So this is how to get to the next bonfire. I'm looking for hidden stuff in there. And of course there isn't. Now there's a trap here. Simple little trap. Look, you just go a bit, stop and boom. See? Trap. <laughs> you got to be careful of that. Um, so, yeah, um, just be careful, and um, that won't get you. Now, this bonfire here is actually um, a really important spot, because not only um, does it bring you to an area that's going to bring you to an important NPC named Stray and the rest of the Bastille, but if you actually go down below which I'm not going to do here, it brings you to the Belfry, um, the Gargoyle Belfry, which is a completely different area that I'll show later. But that's it for now. Um, the next time I put up a video, it's going to be going through the rest of the Bastille. So take care, guys, and catch you guys later.